so uh, the, 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 you know what I wanted to talk about now, since we also mentioned Adam, so it's good to have all of us here. Is you know uh, you, you guys gonna be happy that uh, there might be another React navigation coming up in the future? I mean, it will for sure because Satya is always on the lookout for a better APIs. Uh, so Satya, tell us, uh, shall, shall shall we prepare for another major upgrade anytime soon? And if yes, uh, w what is likely to change and and why? Well, uh, actually, I just uh, released a uh, pre-release version of React Navigation 6. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a like, major version, but there are not a lot of changes regarding the base API. I mean, you still have the component-based API, but we just refine some things and fix some things and made some things more consistent so that uh, you have like more flexibility when you do things. Uh, I can tell you about some of the highlights of the release. Please do. Definitely. So <laughs> first thing, uh, I think the first biggest change is that when you navigate to a new screen in the previous version, uh, I mean by previous version, I mean like all versions before six, like from React Navigation one to five, if there was a screen and you navigate to that screen with some params, those params were being merged with the existing one. But a lot of people were confused about it and a lot of people preferred that they should not be merged. So we finally changed it so they are not merged by default. Of course, you still have the option to merge them if you need it, but by default, they will not be merged. And another thing we did is that we changed the models, uh, model animation by default on iOS. Now the model animation uses the presentation style on iOS by default. And on Android, there was no animation for, no special animation for models, but we, have, we now have a new slide up animation for Android on models. And we also did uh, the same for the drawer. Now the drawer has a new default animation on iOS so that it matches most of the apps uh, which are in iOS because before the drawer on iOS felt like Android drawer. Now yeah. I, I think it feels more like iOS drawer due to the change in animation. And another biggest change we did is now uh, the drawer navigator and the bottom tab navigator render a header by default. So it's, it's a big uh, big change in my opinion because earlier if you wanted a header you yeah. had to nest a stack navigator inside a draw navigator or inside a tab navigator inside each screen even if you had like only one screen you needed like whole new navigator for that. So that was something I wanted to change and that's why that's why now every drawer or tab navigator screen renders a header by default and it has all of yeah. the same options as Stack Navigator. So yeah. Now I lost. Just... Now I lost. Uh, you know, because of that change, I lost one mm -hmm. of my uh, tricky hacks that I always yeah. uh, had. You know, like Nest Stack Navigator inside yeah. drawer, and everybody was like, "Wow, how did you make the header?" <laughs> yeah. No longer no, needed. No more hacks. So yeah, uh, that that will be. I think that will be a welcome upgrade for you. Hmm. And the next thing we did is. Uh, we simplify some of the options. Now with tabs and drawer, you can customize more things like per screen. Earlier there were some props you used to pass to the navigator. So you had to configure it globally for the whole navigator. Now you can configure them per screen. And the next thing is now material top tabs navigator has a, has this native backend based on view pager. That's also I think very good chance because now you'll have like fully native experience for the yeah. sliding experience. And lastly, we have a new library called uh, Elements. It's basically it's basically a UI component library, and it contains the components we use in React Navigation. So, for example, uh, it exports a header, a header back button. Uh, it exports a platform traceable component, which is basically a cross-platform traceable component, which has different behavior based on the platform. 
and we'll be adding more components uh, like eventually as we like work on it but I, I think like for now it's a like very good opportunity for us to like have more integrated components for the navigator so that you don't have to implement everything by yourself over and over again you know yeah so yeah so that's all for React Navigator 6 for now and uh, it's right now in pre-release you can try it out by installing React Navigation slash whatever the package name is and you tag with at the red next and it will uh, install the pre-release version and we'll probably have even more features before stable release and bug fixes so make sure <laughs> to open issues yeah yeah, yeah that's 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 exciting and that's um you know uh, like the 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 speed at which you are releasing these libra these iterations and they are so huge each one of them is just unbelievable and you know so so congratulations to you and and to the entire React navigation team for making this happen i haven't tried it yet but listening to you describing all of these improvements and and checking boxes of the things that i remember were the issue for me when i was doing a lot of applications uh, regularly uh it's 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 you know it's just pleasure it just makes me so excited and 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 uh, that's that's the general impression I have right now, actually, after this podcast, to be honest, that, you know, uh, the community and React Native is like changing so much. Uh, I, I, I've been already developing React Native for five years and I don't want to go back. Like, I, I, I don't want to go back three years ago to these navigators and, you know, like where we are right now with React Navigation, like if we started like this, we wouldn't know how lucky we are, you know, like uh, <laughs> these libraries are like the, the, the React Navigation uh, V5 and V6 are really, really looking great. 